overwhelmed here this evening. For 19 years, Roger Kuzner has been the honorable member for Cape Breton Canso. I think it just makes sense that uh, we have somebody uh, on that government side that uh, that uh, can help and, and move this constituency along. The Liberal MP has a well-deserved reputation as a passionate advocate for Nova Scotia, someone who takes his responsibilities seriously, never taking himself too seriously. It, it baffles me that that isn't the most obvious thing in this entire conversation. Nathan Cullen's arguably one of the most popular and respected New Democrats representing the far-flung northern BC riding of Skeena Bulkley Valley. His career on Parliament Hill spanning 15 years, even running for his party's leadership in 2012. Alex Nuttall was first elected just four years ago, winning his Barrie, Ontario riding by just 86 votes following a judicial recount. And the only people all of us want to see win is the Canadian people. Mr. Speaker, thank you for the opportunity. All three MPs are headed home for good after bidding farewell to the House of Commons earlier this month. May we, in all of our efforts, seek to not only leave Parliament a better place, leave this country a better place. I'm not sad to go. I'm just happy to have had the opportunity to be here. I sat down with them to talk about their time in politics as their careers in Ottawa draw to a close. So when you uh, so when you when you got here, do you remember what your initial impressions were? I imagine it's overwhelming. Like when I first got here as a reporter, it's pretty, especially the center block. It's pretty intimidating. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. we, we were like uh, fairly fortunate. Uh, each parliament is different as well, and sure. you guys can uh, share that with you. But uh, there were 40 new members of parliament when we were elected in 2000. And so we had a lot of experienced people around the table. So the mentorship was there, and we were able to sort of uh, learn from, from their experience and, uh, and benefit from their experience. So uh, this current parliament, the, you know, uh, since 2015, there were so many new bodies. Um, it, it's a whole different set of uh, challenges for them. And uh, Can I pick up on that, yeah. that exact point? You know, you, you talk about mentorship, and it's something that we kind of bantered around a little bit, but one of the things that's missing in this parliament is a, is a, is a, uh, an institutionalized Thank mentorship you. program. In See, the this sense is why you guys came, so. Right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. In, in the sense that you have yeah. new MPs showing up, they're getting what seems to be younger and younger. Yeah. And no, nothing there to say, hey, here's the ropes, here's how it works. You have the odd person like Roger and Nathan, I'm sure took young people under their wings, but, um, but there is nothing, you know, institutionalized to say. Here's the ropes. I remember the uh, they have a little. They did it for you guys too. Where you, all the new MPs get into yeah, the House like of a Commons. Class, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it ain't much. No, no. Like it's it's 30 minutes, 60 minutes long, and a couple of former or current MPs with experience get up and say a few things. Yeah. From that from that experience, I remember two things from my favorite curmudgeon, John McKay, <laughs> the honorable member from uh, Scarborough. Uh -huh. But he had said uh, two things. Number number one. This job will take everything you want to give it, whether it's you know 60 hours a week, 70 hours a week, 80 hours a week. You have to draw the fence yeah. around yes. a, a, around that yeah. job. Uh, and he said uh, the the other thing he said uh, when, when you're away so much, your spouse is home and she's running the ranch. Yeah. You're almost a guest in the home. And, and I can you guys can attest yeah, to this. I, my my wife pretty much raised the kids like a single mother. But it does, it doesn't have to be this way. There's some there's some historical things that the parliaments keep doing. Stupid voting patterns, not accommodating for the the family part of this cuz this place was built 150, 200, 300 years ago traditions where it was just men. Yeah. There was no expectation of what those men would maybe do as parents or as, as partners. And we keep saying we want to make it family friendly. Because for us to be able to go out and recruit good people, yeah. I, I tried to recruit a couple of single moms to run in my riding. And they said, okay, tell me what the week looks like. And when you get back to your riding, People expect you to see you in communities. You, know, Alex yeah, you don't go home and then just sit on the couch for two <laughs> no, days. No, 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 no. That's, no. that's no, not no, it. They, they, yeah. they want to see this you. This is your uniform, right? The reality yeah. is yeah. when you're at home, you're, you're constantly on. You know, you go to the grocery store, yeah. you're, you're working. You yeah. go to take your kid for mini putt, you're working. You sure. go to play, watch your soccer game, and that's the deal. you're working. And that's what you know you're getting into. It's a lot. Um, how, has thing, how have things changed? Like rhetoric? Uh, tone, whether it's 
the place is a better place, a worse place. I don't know whether don't you would know. Fair. Can I say, in the election in 2015, one of the things that I found um, incredibly hopeful um, was when the Prime Minister, uh, he had this quote, and I remember thinking, oh my God, that's going to be damaging to my election. Conservatives are not our enemies. They're our neighbors. They want what's best for their country, just like we do. And I thought, I'm running against a liberal, and I'm thinking that that, that, that is actually what it should be, right? And I think over the four years, the political culture both within Canada, the political culture in Ottawa, and certainly around the world, has just taken such a, a, a turn, and not a turn right or left, but just a turn to both the right and left. Mm. And to extremes. It, to extremes. Yeah. And there's this massive divide, and, and, and there's just anger and anger. And if you want to get into the play of what's going on, you have to reflect one of these two angers. Meanwhile, 95% of society is just trying to live their life and, and do what they believe is right. And, and that's where I, I hope that we turn to in the future. What was your, this is a hard question, so you may need to take a sip of beer while you think. <laughs> what was your best moment? Your best, best moment, moment. Where, you, where you thought to yourself, yep, I did, I did my riding proud, I did my country proud, I'm good with where I'm at. Like, I did something that mattered today. <laughs> Maybe there's been a lot of those. I don't know. <laughs> I've had, a, you know, yeah. I, I, and I did mention my speech, and it was the day that uh, uh, Prime Minister Kretchen came down and announced that uh, we wouldn't be joining the uh, coalition of the willing. If military action proceeds without a new resolution of the Security Council, Canada will not participate. But Canada has now finally made it extremely clear uh, what this country's position is, and that is that it will not be involved in any attack on Iraq. Did you know that day that was the right thing and you were good with it? I, I had a pretty good, uh, pretty good sense. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way it sort of had evolved, the, the way the situation uh, unfolded, was pretty much similar to what he had anticipated. So he, he had good instincts on the issue. And again, I think Canadians sort of see that it was probably the right thing. So that was easy for me. For me it was, um, I had been trying to get uh, uh, a debate, an emergency debate on the opioid crisis. I don't think they're getting the point. 11 Canadians are dying a day. It meant a lot to my riding, but more importantly than that, it was the first time we really, as a country, every party stood up and said, we have a real problem mm -hmm. that we need to figure out. Hmm. You been thinking? I have. Yeah. <laughs> It's rare, I know. <laughs> it's, it does happen. It time to time. You it does. have one, it's okay. But I, I know that you do have one. It was the day we, um, Kevin Vickers came in for the first time after the shooting. And I, saw, I, I came in late and I got sort of stuck behind him, knowing that Canadians were having this feeling of crisis, like what had just happened to our parliament, a loss of innocence and all the rest. And there are those moments and we look at them and we acknowledge them at the time as parliamentarians. Sometimes we don't always recall those stories yeah. of togetherness, and we go back to the trench warfare stuff, which yeah. is part of politics too. So, uh, so why are you all leaving? <laughs> you go first because you haven't been here very long, yeah, and you're your doing excuse? fine. Yeah, so, yeah, what you're, yeah, I've only you been know? four years here, yeah. but I've been 12 years in politics, yeah. and uh, you know, I'm 33 years of age. You're 33? And, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Man. And We're so, old. Uh, look, I didn't want to say anything, but uh, I, I think I think that for me, I'm sitting here going, I've got two children, three and five. Uh, I've got a wife at home who I don't know as well as I want to know. Mm. Uh -uh. And uh, you know, you know what it was for me. I was in uh, every Sunday night. I'd go into my office at home and I'd do some work before I'd come back. And my son came in and he started doing a puzzle on my desk. I said, "Dad, can I do a puzzle?" I said, "Yeah." And he started. I see tears going down his face. And I said to him, "What's wrong, buddy?" He goes, "I want to play hockey." I said, "Buddy, you can play hockey. Like, let's let's figure this out." He goes, "No, I want to play hockey this week." And I said, "Awesome. Like, I'll I'll, I'll make it happen." And then he goes, "No, Dad, I just want to play with you this week." And I was just like, can't I, can't, I, I can't make that happen. And I need to make a choice between <laughs> the two worlds. And I made my choice. And I am so comfortable and happy about it. Hmm. How about you? Just tired of traveling, tired of, no. No, no, I, I, no, I don't think so. And I, I hear Jack's voice in my head when I complained to him once about travel and he got mad. Oh. I think the only time he really got mad at me, he <laughs> said, don't ever complain about it. Huh. You, you, you volunteered for this. Don't. 
That's not on anybody else except you. Um, he was right. <laughs> he was, and he's absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. He's absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. And I, it just, I thought about it a long time, Rosie, like, because the honor of serving, right, representing people, I honestly, struggling with it for a few years, couldn't figure out how to make it sustainable. Couldn't figure out how to look my kids or my wife in the eye and say, I got this, I'm full heart, full mind, I can do both these things. And I can do them to the level that I want to do them at. And so if not, then get out of the way and let somebody else move into that space. Don't, too many, too many, there's someone said this, politicians and athletes always know when to retire and retire four years later. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like there's something about just hanging on. Yeah. And I saw so many people who would just hang on, it was their identity or security or something. And I thought, if, if I'd rather leave too early than too late. So it wasn't like, oh, we're never going to form government. No, we no, no. Chant. It was a personal thing. Oh, very personal. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It would and have I mean, to be, I guess. I think it ought to be in the end. Uh, Alex nailed it. He said, uh, your, your kids, they, they've got one dad. They'll find another member of parliament. Probably not as good, <laughs> right, right, Alex? But, uh, no. but, uh, well, probably far better. <laughs> <laughs> but in my case, not in yours, Roger. Not in yours. Better than not find yeah, another dad, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they've only, they've only got the one dad. Yeah. So uh, that's, that's important to sort of take that into consideration. Uh, Thank you. This has been good. good yeah. I wish you good luck. Well, cheers, yeah, cheers, cheers to your guys. futures. Thank you. Good and luck, to you your guys. service. Thank you for it. Thank you. Thank you. Buddy.